Okay, let's recall na yung process of computing the derivative of a function f is called differentiation and it is denoted by f prime. So now we will define what is differentiability. There are three ways na magiging differentiable lang isang function. First, a function f is said to be differentiable at x equals x sub 0 if its derivative f prime at x equals 0 exists. So, madali lang yun. Differentiable siya kasi nga yung derivative niya nag-exist. Second is, a function f is said to be differentiable on an interval a, b if f is differentiable at every real number in the interval a, b. So, differentiable naman siya sa interval kapag differentiable siya sa lahat ng real number na nasa loob ng interval natin. And finally, a function f is differentiable everywhere kapag differentiable siya sa lahat ng real numbers. Note that the function f of x is differentiable at x equals x sub 0 if and only if x sub 0 is an element of the domain of f prime. So dito, sinasabi lang na kailangan yung x sub 0 natin nasa domain siya nung derivative ng function para masabi natin na yung function na yon ay differentiable at x equals x sub 0. For example, meron tayong f of x equals x cubed. So, titignan natin kung differentiable ba ito. So, ang domain nito ay uh, all real numbers. Pag chinect natin yung kanyang derivative, ang kanyang derivative ay 3x squared. Since 3x squared is a polynomial, ibig sabihin, differentiable siya everywhere. Therefore, f of x is differentiable everywhere. Second example is f of x equals the square root of x. So, in this case here, ang domain ng function natin is from 0 to positive infinity. However, pag kinuha natin yung kanyang derivative, so we have f prime of x equals 1 over 2 square root of x. And we know that etong part na to, okay, itong derivative niya, is only differentiable at positive numbers except 0. Okay? Therefore, f of x is differentiable at every number in its domain except at 0. Kasi dito sa ating f prime of x, hindi pwedeng maging 0 yung nasa baba. Okay? Note here that eto pwede ang 0. Okay? Yung kanyang domain. Dito naman, hindi pwede ang 0 sa kanyang domain. However, ang basis kasi natin para maging differentiable siya, yung domain ng f prime of x natin. At dito, sinasabi niya na hindi siya pwede sa 0. Okay? Ang pwede lang sa kanya ay sa positive numbers, except 0. Therefore, f of x is differentiable at every number in its domain except 0. And that domain is actually equal to all x na positive numbers. Example number 3, f of x is equal to cube root of x. So, pag chinek naman natin yung kanyang derivative, we have 1 over 3 cube root of x squared. Yung domain nitong f of x natin is set of real numbers. Okay? Kasi kahit anong x ang ilagay natin dyan, true pa rin siya. However, dito naman sa ating f prime of x, pwede kahit anong number except 0. Okay? Therefore, f of x is differentiable at every number in its domain except 0. In fact, yung domain na yun is the set of real numbers. So, f of x is differentiable in set of real numbers except 0. I have a theorem here. If a function f is differentiable at x equals a, then f is continuous at x equals a. So, sinasabi lang ng theorem natin na kapag differentiable siya, automatically, continuous na yung function natin. Now, let's prove this theorem. 
So, since f is differentiable at a, saan galing yan? Dito sa ating premise. ba diba sabi natin, differentiable si a? Okay, so since differentiable si f kay a, then f prime of a, or the derivative, exists. Okay? Kasi differentiable nga siya, kaya yung derivative nag exist Eh, ano ba yung derivative na yun? Di ba yun ay equal to the limit of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a as x approaches a. Anong ibig sabihin niyan? This means that the limit of f of x minus f of a as x approaches a, okay, saan to galing? Ito, galing lang ito sa limit of f of x as x approaches a is equal to f of a. Eh, di ba ito? Ito yung sa continuity, di ba? Para maging continuous siya sa a, kailangan equal yung f of a sa limit ng f of x as x approaches a. Ngayon, ang gagawin natin dito, imamanipulate natin siya okay? para makuha natin yung limit ng f of x minus f of a over x minus a by multiplying x minus a over x minus a. Okay? Kasi ito, parehas lang naman yung value dito. At pwede natin itong gawin kasi yung x minus a natin, hindi naman yan mag-equal to 0. Pero mag approach siya to 0. Okay? Remember that, x minus a will not be equal to 0 but will approach 0. Kasi yun yung definition natin ng limit, di ba? It will just approach a certain value but it's not equal to that value. Okay, so ngayon, by rules of limits, pwede nating gawing limit ng x minus a times limit ng f of x minus f of a over x minus a. But by direct substitution, we know that the limit of this is 0 and this limit is f prime of a. Now, 0 times f prime of a is just equal to 0. Therefore, the limit of f of x minus f of a as x approaches a is equal to 0. Hence, the limit of f of x minus f of a as x approaches a is equal to 0. Now, dito sa part na to, if we add f of a on both sides, this will give us the limit of f of x as x approaches a equals f of a. Okay? So, naipakita natin dito na kapag differentiable pala siya, continuous siya. Kasi, nag exist ito, nag exist ito, tapos equal silang dalawa. Which is yung definition ng continuity at x equals a. This is very important. All functions that are differentiable are continuous, but not all continuous functions are differentiable. So, differentiability implies continuity. Pag differentiable siya, continuous siya. However, yung kabaliktaran ay not always true. Okay? Nakapag continuous siya, differentiable siya. Hindi yon palaging true. If f is discontinuous at x equals 0, then f is not differentiable at x equals 0. If f is continuous at x equals 0, is it does not mean that f is differentiable at x equals 0. So, pag continuous siya, hindi nangangahulugan na differentiable na rin siya. And if f is not differentiable at x equals 0, it does not mean that f is not continuous at x equals x sub 0. Okay? Basta ang sinasabi lang natin, pag differentiable siya, sure tayo na siya ay continuous.